This is an overview of the taxonomy terms widget for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started, drag the taxonomy terms widget into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it shows a list of taxonomies. Taxonomies, for example, are categories or tags by default in WordPress. And you can also add your custom taxonomies using ACF or something like that. So let's get started and check out how we can customize this. So first of all, we need to select the post type that we want to show the tax taxonomies associated with that post type. For example, right now we're showing regular posts. And as I said before, categories or tags, you can show these. By default, it's showing a category. And over here, we see a list of all the categories associated with the posts in our WordPress website. Each post also, uh, each category also shows how many posts are associated with that. And the third setting over here allows us to exclude terms. For example, by default, WordPress adds uncategorized category, and I don't want to show that in the list, so I'm just gonna type it in over here. And once it's updated on the right side, it's gone from the list because I've decided to exclude it from the list. Over here, we can order by or order direction. I'm not gonna touch this, but just so you know, you can decide about different ways how you want to order your list, and you can decide about the direction. So we can flip the direction from ascending to descending. The next setting is for hide empty. So for example, you can see there is a category over here with zero posts associated to that. And if we have more of these in the list and you don't want to show them, then you can just choose hide, hide empty categories. And this is really, really useful. The next uh, settings are for choosing the icon over here. So for example, I'm gonna change it from this arrow to a check mark, for example, and just click insert. That will just update the icon. If you don't want to show the icon at all, you can just turn it off over here and it won't show at all. The next part is for item type. Right now it's showing as a list. If you want to show it as a tag cloud, you can choose over here inline block and now you can see it's showing as a tag cloud. Number of posts, if you don't want to show the number of posts, you can turn this off. It's gone. If you want to turn it back on, you can. And we can also show a description. By default, each taxonomy has a description. So if you want to display the description, we can turn the description part on. And later on, inside of the Style tab, you can style this however you want. Typography, size, spacing, and all of that. Let's jump into Style and see how it's separated over here. So first of all, it's separated into item, item hover, icon, and description that we just turned off. So inside of the item, we can push up the padding just to make each uh, item have more padding. By default, it has a solid border around of it. So you can turn off the border if you want to, you can leave it on, and you can customize it if you need to. Border radius, if you want to make your list rounded or your list items rounded or not, you can play around with this setting. And this is for the spacing between the items. So right now you can see there's 10 pixels spacing between them. If we want more spacing, we can push this up to 20, for example, or uh, we can push it down if we don't want any spacing at all. So that's how you play with the margin field. Typography, if you want to change the typography of the text. You can do that as well. Text color, background color. Inside of hover, we can play around with the text color on the hover because these are actually links. When you click to it, it will go to the link. It will open the category page. And over here, you can also change the background. You can see the background is changing when I hover over each one of these. Let's actually change it to blue and let's change the text color to white just so you can see how that looks. And over here, let's add a two pixel black border. Let's go for black. Awesome, so that's how it looks. It's pretty easy and useful. Inside of icon, we can space from the text to the icon if we want to add some more spacing. 
We can make our icon bigger if we want to. And for description, you have typography, spacing, and color, which are really basic settings. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful, and I'm going to see you in the next video.